Streamlabs decided to do a bit of trolling. I I recorded this video already. Um but the entire time it recorded a frozen screen of me f spooky fishing yesterday. So that's great. I got to record this a second time now. Essentially, there's a brand new mining meta. There were some changes, all right? Let's talk about it. Recently, there have been some bug fixes. Let's slash warp nucleus. All that good stuff. Turn off my waypoint so I don't leak my ruby spot. Eh. All right. Yeah, that's that's the thing. All right. Basically, there were some changes. First of all, Mithril got a fat nerf. Mining Mithril got nerfed into the dirt. It is now 8 coins per piece instead of 10. And, uh, you know, you might think that's not a big deal. But it decreases the thing from uh, making like 20 million coins an hour for the max up to 16 million. So people are missing out on millions of coins per hour. Thank you, Macrowers. A uh, very cool. Anyway, before we get any further into the video, I just want to note that I'm very close to 250 subscribers, and so if you want to help me get there, uh, then, you know, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing, you can always change your mind, but when I do hit 250 subs, I will do a 25 million coin giveaway, because I'm too poor to do a 250 million coin giveaway. So that's a thing. But yeah, we'll do that soon. So now let's further explain what the brand new mining meta may be. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so you can see I'm over here in the mines of Devon. This is essentially what the old meta for mining gemstones was, is you would get a pretty strong setup, you get yourself a Skay the Pet, and you would mine the full glass blocks here because on average they would have a higher chance of granting double drops in uh unlike the smaller glass panes as you can see i'm breaking only the full glass blocks and i'm kind of just leaving the panes to just like exist uh because they will on average be higher chance to grant double drops and give me twice as many gemstones as the other ones you see how it gives like 36 there uh instead of 18 the blocks have a higher chance to give higher amounts than the panes do which is obviously what you want to see. Now, this was the meta for a little while, but it's not anymore, and there's a reason for that. Recently, there were some bug fixes involving, first of all, one that I'm very happy about, the gemstone gauntlet. It took them two years, but the mining speed on that thing finally works, because before, a 355 would mine faster than it. And it took them two years to fix it, but the mining speed on the gauntlet finally works. Now, there's one more pretty uh, significant change that they made. And that is that the bow pet got fixed. So let's uh, warp nucleus real quick. What is different about the bow pet? Well, essentially, the bow pet buffs all of your stats when you're in the magma field. And you might be thinking, well, everything else that buffs all your stats in the in certain areas, they don't grant mining stats. You know, Legion, Superior, Ender Dragon, Blaze Pet, they don't grant any mining stats. What makes Bow so special? Well, if we check the auction house and we search for an Ender Dragon pet, we look up here, you'll see Superior increases most stats by 10%. Most. That doesn't include mining stats, but if we look over at our bow pet, it increases all stats by 15%. And that includes mining stats, such as fortune, pristine, uh, mining speed, and also breaking power for some reason. I don't, I don't really know why, but it, yeah, it buffs that. Um, so yeah, it buffs all those stats. And prior to this it didn't really give all the stats it was supposed to it only gave a little bit of mining speed a little bit of fortune uh, i think the pristine always worked as intended but it never really gave all of the fortune and speed it was supposed to until relatively recently they made a pretty big change to that and they made it go to its full potential and it pretty much turns you into a mining demigod 
based off of what your current stats are. And so I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay, so well, now thankfully this is my second time recording this. So everything is already set up down here. Which means I can pretty much just show you right away what happens. Now, if we look at Skay the Pet, right, it gives like 100 mining speed, 125 mining fortune. It's it's not a bad pet, but it's not it's not great in comparison to what the Bow Pet is capable of. So if we take a look at our stats, we have about 6,400 mining speed, about 1,800 fortune, and 16 pristine. Now, if we take off our bow pet, it gives us about 250 fortune, 2 pristine, and about, like, 800 mining speed. That's a pretty big difference over what the Skava pet does for us. It's a very big difference, actually. So, now that we're gonna go over that, let's do another five minute money making test because I have to do that again. Thank you, Hypixel. Or not Hypixel. No, this isn't Hypixel's fault. This is Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Why are you recording just to still screen of me fishing? Okay, whatever. It's fine. I got my phone next to me. We're doing another five minute timer and we're gonna make more money. All right, and I'll be back in five minutes. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, that's the end of the timer. I'm just gonna finish up this vein to make up for the bit of lag that I've been facing. And then we're gonna count up how much money I made in that five minute time span. And it's actually even more than I made the last time I tested. So let's see how much we made in this five minutes. This five minutes, I made 1.1 mil. So that's like 13, 14 million coins an hour with my absolute crap setup. Now, let's also talk about one final thing that I want to go over, and that is the new equipment over here that they added during the Nether update. Essentially, for mining, you want to have a glowstone gauntlet for... It has base mining fortune, of course, and ancient cloak also has base mining fortune, and then you want to have any epic necklace because all the necklaces in the game are epic, and... Or, well, there's the highest rarity in the game for a necklace is epic. And you want to have a belt. Mine is only blue, but the reason you want belt is because if you get black belt, it's the only base legendary belt in the game. So that's essentially what you want to do there. Uh, unfortunately, I have to say I'm sorry to all Skeva enjoyers, but it seems that the only real use for your beloved pet nowadays, now that Mithril has been nerfed and Bal has been buffed, is uh, just powder mining. I'm sorry but it seems that's its best use. But I mean, at least for its one sole singular use, it did get buffed and it is going to give you more powder. Now, that's something, I guess. It's something, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm sorry to all skate the enjoyers, but it's just not that good anymore. But to my bow enjoyers, you're welcome. It's actually insane now. So, yeah. Um, if you did go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new. Uh, obviously, like I said, I'm getting very close to 250 subs and I'll be doing a 25 million coin giveaway when I get there. So, uh, I hope you guys all have a nice day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.